Stone Dreaming Mind unfocused, content clear, running water on a sunny day, a sparkle cool and clean, overshining pebbles. Thoughtless ratiocination nil, nullified, castrated, intent on being only, sight, touch, smell, seeing and tasting, unmediated world. Lights upon the soft closed eyelids, on the hands and shoulders, warmth and light. Sun-warmed rocks renouncing thought and motion in colonies of being stretched together, rooted along the stable earth, at rest. She sleeps beside them, or almost seems to sleep. Fish are Cinderella, Cinderella, in her shining deep sea world. He murmurs, all is well, my ding-dong bell, as he feels her supple thigh flesh makes her sigh, staring into his sea blue eye. Let pass that most ridiculous assumption, all is well. O oh, lazy haze, O oh, soporific sense of peace and plenty, the large ripe fruit of age about to burst, deluge us in sweetness, in stickiness, drown, so quickly rotting, so rapidly corrupting, lurching from celebration to jubilee, we fail to see the signs of our decay, dim eyes benignly scanning high blue skies of deep unending promising. A negative purpose alone rewards our need. Everything folds together like folded paper in our world of limited dimensions. Slip it into your pocket casually saunter off as one intent on taking the evening air as sunset fades to twilight, piping starlings ranged in singing ranks on monument and tree. Lost in reverie, lapped in mystery, she turning in her sleep deep underground, refuses to give way to importunity, prefers to dream. He, scrabbling at her gold sarcophagus, at the utmost limit of his rage, falls back panting, cursing, impotent to enter her, to fructify and seed her unregarded waiting womb of pleasure, to break her dim sterility with joy of fatherhood, of motherhood. 
new life to spread and blossom in the tomb.